I have a lot of really good memories and it, it was actually a real small thing um, that really stands out in my mind today, uh, clear as day, when he came up to me and it was Tuesday night. Um, I was a young guy, I think I was in elementary school or, or junior high school, and he just said, uh, how about just the two of us take off to the cottage? And uh, uh, took me down to the lake, we fired some rifles, did some other uh, goofy things, but it was just basically the two of us, and it was just completely um, out of the random blue sky, um, something that he didn't have to do, but it, it just made me feel real special and, and really loved at that time. Well. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad used to like to bring humor into our home, and um, I remember one incident. We used to, uh, when we had birth, when we had a birthday, uh, my mother would make a cake, and she would uh, wrap money up in wax paper and put it in the cake and hide it in the cake and then ice the cake, so you couldn't tell where anything was. And so this one day, I guess I was about seven years old, and my we had supper, and then we were having saying me happy birthday, and got the cake, and I got my piece of cake, and. I think I got a dime. And my dad, I was starting to eat my cake, I was paying attention to my cake, and he slipped a 50 cent piece out of his pocket and said, hey Mike, look at this, look what I found. And I thought, whoa, I wish I hadn't found that. <laughs> so he was, he was, that was his thing. And so uh, it helped me to uh, not take myself too seriously as I grew up, he kept, he kept it kind of light that way, which was good. Just those family moments, those, those sort of things that just happen uh, without plan, um, really makes you feel uh, special. Uh, when I became a father, there's, there's so many things in being a father. And one of the things that um, was kind of a surprise, even though you, in your mind you know it's going to happen, but I became friends with my children as they grew older. Uh, we've uh, been blessed with seven children, uh, the oldest being Garrett, uh, the next was Mari who is now actually in heaven already. Um, then Gavin, Makila, Jaron, Graydon, and Griffin. And if you notice, the boys are in alphabetical order. So anyway, I was holding my granddaughter and I thought, man, I got a chocolate heart for this little girl. I was just, I had never experienced anything like that in my life. I was just melting for this little girl. God's entrusted us into with these children and um, so what I was surprised at is how equipped I was to handle the kids, but with his wisdom, um, I think they've turned out pretty good.